In this video, we are looking at the portfolio of Seth Klarman. Seth Klarman is a famous Warren Buffett style investor that I follow. It is the middle of November and we can see what super investors bought during the previous quarter, during the third quarter of 2022. And we will look at two stocks, one stock that he completely sold out, this is Intel, and one stock that he added to his position. So we will look at some of the numbers of these companies. We will look at what approximate price Seth Klarman bought or sold his positions and what this means for investors in these companies. So let's get started. First of all, if you want to get updates about the portfolios of super investors, Seth Klarman, Warren Buffett, Lee Lu, Terry Smith, Michael Bury, and many others, you can subscribe to the channel by pressing the subscribe button under the video. You will not miss a single new video. Okay, Seth Klarman is a famous author of the book Margin of Safety. To see his portfolio, you can use the Edgar search on the SSC.gov, but services like Dataroma allows to see his portfolio in much more simpler way. So if we look at his portfolio on Dataroma, we can see that he has 44 stocks, but his portfolio is centered around 18 core positions. These stocks represent more than 1% of his portfolio. An important thing to note here is that these kind of portfolios do not show short positions and they do not show cash positions. So it's very important to know the investment style of the investor you are following. And I know that Seth Klarman is a Warren Buffett style investor, so he usually only has long positions. Okay, so what were the main changes to his portfolio? First, let's look at the second quarter. In the second quarter, he reduced his position in Intel around 47%. He bought Warner Brothers Discovery and he reduced his position in Google, around 30% reduction. So this was on the second quarter. And during the third quarter, we can see almost the same thing. We can see that he sold out Intel, completely sold out Intel, reduced his position in Google, around 60% reduction, and added Warner Brothers Discovery. So right now, Warner Brothers Discovery represent close to 6% of his portfolio. So among his top six positions. So during these two quarters, we can see a lot of similarities. We can see that he reduced his position in Google and he completely sold out Intel, only half of the position in the second quarter and completely sold out in the third quarter. And during both quarters, he significantly increased his position in Warner Brothers Discovery. So now let's look at what approximate price Seth Klarman sold his shares in Intel. If we look at the chart of Intel, we can see that the highest price during the third quarter was close to $40 per share. It is very likely that he sold even lower, but this was the maximum price. If we look at some of the numbers of Intel, we can see that they have close to $17 billion in net debt. They have a dividend yield of 4.66% but the payout ratio is unavailable. They have negative free cash flow or close to 13.4 billion. So what is free cash flow? This is cash from operations minus capital expenditures and Intel is ramping up their capital expenditures. We also can see the reduction in revenue and earnings and both gross margins and operating margins are reducing during the last years. So Intel is ramping up capital expenditures. So this is visible in the numbers of Intel. So this may be the reason why Seth Klarman completely sold out Intel. On the other hand, we can see that he even increased his position in Warner Brothers Discovery. So let's look at what approximate price he added to his position in Warner Brothers Discovery. We can see that the lowest price during the second quarter was close to $12 per share for Warner Brothers Discovery. So this is the time when he initially bought the shares and he added his position in the third quarter. So the minimum price was close to $11 per share. So right now it's possible to buy the shares almost at the same price level that Seth Klarman did. Okay, in this video we saw what main changes were made during the previous quarter. This is very similar to what he did during the second quarter. He reduced Google, he reduced Intel, completely sold out, and he added Warner Brothers Discovery. So right now, Warner Brothers Discovery is among his top six positions. Also, if you want to know more about the fundamentals of Warner Brothers Discovery, here's the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you can just by pressing the button right here. You will not miss a single new video. Thank you very much for watching till the end, and see you in the next video.